What's up ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be looking at 5 easy steps how to make your footage look more cinematic. Let's go! Just before I start I want to show you a little sample clip so we're going to be trying to find out how to make this clip look just a little bit like this and five easy steps step number one we're gonna have to fix your camera settings for the best result we're gonna have to shoot our video 24 or 25 frames a second these are two frame rates that human sees the most natural and if you're gonna be using anything like 30 50 or 60 frames a second you're not gonna get this nice natural motion blur and your clips are gonna look kind of choppy so 24 25 frames a second that's a key on top of that we're gonna have to use the 180 rule which basically means that your shutter speed needs to be twice as your frame rate so if we're shooting at 24 or 25 frames a second your shutter speed has to be 1 50th of a second. The next thing that can make your footage look more cinematic is a shallow depth of field that you can get with a large aperture. If you have any lens that can go f3.5 or less like 2.8, f2, 1.8, 1.4 like this one or even 1.2, the shallow depth of field is gonna give you this sort of nice and smooth cinematic experience. Little disclaimer though, if you're gonna be shooting your video with 25 frames a second like you should and 150 for your shutter speed like you should and you're gonna be using your let's say ISO 100 which is for the most of the cameras it's the lowest you can you still want to get that wide uh, wide aperture to have this shallow depth of field and you're gonna be shooting outside in the sun your scene is gonna be completely blown out so this is probably where you're gonna have to need a ND filter to stop down the light so you can still have your aperture wide open. If you don't have one of these you will probably have to close your aperture slightly and sacrifice that shallow depth of field so your footage doesn't look uh, overexposed. Let's talk about picture profiles. So I'm gonna be taking my Canon camera and I'm gonna be running through some of the picture profiles that we have uh, in just a basic like 600D uh, which is very basic camera. So you for picture style you have auto you have standard, you have portrait, you have landscape and you have neutral. So what you want to be using for your clips is the neutral one. Uh, for some of the high-end cameras, well not really high-end cameras, but for some like Sony or Panasonic or some other cameras, even some Canon cameras, you have these Cine logs, C logs, S logs, V logs. Basically what it means, you can shoot your footage really flat without any contrast. I'm going to show you a little... Um, Example right here. I've got this uh, This uh, clip here, which is shot in standard and then we have exactly the same clip shot in a really really flat profile Which is gonna give us a really good flexibility after in the post for color correction now when we have finally fixed your camera settings uh, I'm pretty sure you've seen none of the Hollywood movies have been shot just still sitting on a tripod so it means we're gonna need to add some motion. Obviously, we're not gonna afford to buy any cranes or something like that for your camera, but you can just use a tripod, for example, for panning or tilting shots, or if you have just the cheapest slider, you can do backwards or forwards, which is gonna kinda give you this nice changing perspective so it's kind of give you the depth feeling which is going to be really nice and cinematic unfortunately by doing that you might run in some issues for example shaky footage so how you avoid a shaky footage because you can see in Hollywood movies everything is smooth and nice obviously if that's some kind of dramatic scene chase scene or some guns firing or fighting yes a shake can be as effect but for most of the time it's gonna be like a defect so we need to reduce the camera shake as much as possible. For example, my Lumix G9 has an uh, optically stabilized lens. So if you can get an um, IS, which is image stabilization for your lens, that's cool. It has a five axis uh, sensor stabilization in body. So you, if your camera has an in body electronic uh, stabilization, make sure you turn that on. Uh, if you don't have any of that, you can use any kind of gimbal, 3-axis gimbal or just the very cheapest of the glide cams. I'm gonna link a few of these things like sliders and glide cams and 
uh, down in the description so you can check out so uh, and if none of that works if you have something or you're still going handheld uh, we're again we're gonna go back to this clip which was shot in standard uh, then we went to the flat profile and if you jump into the premiere you can actually use you can see how smooth it looks now you can actually use this effect called warp stabilizer so you just drop it on your clip the premiere is gonna um, analyze the clip for a bit and voila it's gonna do its magic and your clip is gonna be smooth so now our clip is shot with the right settings it's smooth it's shot in a flat profile settings so now we need to do some color correction and as you can see flat profile is really easy to color correct and this is what we have after color corrections uh, again, a little disclaimer, I'm not the best pro in the world to do color corrections. Uh, in my mind, color corrections is everyone's personal preferences. For example, I like what I did with my footage. You might not like it or you might actually like it. So, uh, yeah, that's all your personal, personal preference. So, next thing you want to be adding, which is going to pretty much top off uh, the last thing that you want to add in post to your clip is you guessed it the black bars as soon as you add black bars the widescreen ratio for a clip that's it your clip is officially cinematic let's run through the five easy steps what we learned today so first things first you need to get your camera settings right the second one is shoot in a flat profile so it's easier to color correct the third one is make sure your footage is smooth but then again make sure it has some kind of emotion then do your color corrections which will be number four and the last but not least add some black bars which is really cool for cinematic looks again uh, just going back to the color corrections uh, you can set to, you can you can set the mood in the video for example if you're gonna make it more yellowish orange it will kind of feel it's really warm and probably sunny outside but if it's kind of gray outside and if you want to use some you know blue highlights or blue midtones you can actually make like it feels really cold in the video of course you can make uh, different impressions by using different sounds and different music in the background as well and the last secret I can share if your camera can do more than 50 60 frames a second I would seriously suggest you to shoot in a higher frame rate so you can slow it down in post for example make a little slow motion because a slow motion if you shoot at 60 frames a second then you convert it down in the post to 24 frames a second you're gonna get some slow motion and slow motion makes everything feel again more smooth mood you don't feel the shake so much and slow motion with 24 frames a second all together it kind of makes the clip look very cinematic and pleasing for the viewers eyes thank you very much for watching I hope some of these tips were kind of useful for your uh, upcoming videos as well make sure you like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you have any questions write them down below in the comment section if you want me to go through some of these points more specifically in another video make sure let me down in the comments I will do a little edit of all the clips that I have I will do the unedited one and then after that I'm gonna run exactly the same one just the edited one stabilized color corrected and so on so on so on uh, but yeah until that make sure like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one Shoo.